up and down school. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Kara. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Neve. Hi, I'm Harry. Hi, I'm Brea. We'll be your Year 11 student leaders in September. And we understand it's a big step from primary to secondary school. Because after all, we've been there ourselves. So we thought we'd give you an idea of what to expect. Talk you through the day-to-day -day stuff. And hopefully make you feel a lot more relaxed about the move. OK, let's get started. When you arrive at school, you'll come through this gate, which is next to the leisure centre just off Cliff Road. Or there's another entrance across the bridge next to the Inage Lane car park. Students are expected to come in for 8.35 so that they're ready for their first lesson which starts at 8.45. For those who'd like to come in a bit earlier, the school offers an early bird breakfast club from 8.15 but this needs to be booked in advance via the parent app. Students travel to school in all sorts of ways. Some catch a minibus or public bus, some are dropped off by their parents and people who live nearby tend to either walk or bike in. If you come by bike, there's a bike shed for you to use, but don't forget your lock to keep it safe and secure. It's okay for you to bring your mobile phone with you, but it needs to be switched off and away during school hours, otherwise it'll be confiscated until the end of the day. On your first day in Year 7, you'll have the whole school to yourselves, so you can begin to get to know each other and find your way around before the other year groups come back. You'll go straight to your form rooms, where you'll get the chance to meet your form tutor and all the other Year 7s in your form. Your form tutor will make you feel very welcome and give you all the important information you need, such as your timetable, before you head off to your lessons. So on the first day I was with my best friend and um, we went to primary school together and um, it, we walked to school and we waited in the reception area for our, a teacher to come and pick us up to take us to our form group. and. Um, then we went to our form group and they would show us like around the school um, and take us to our first lessons with our timetables. And um, in our form, we had all the girls that I knew from my primary school um, and then all the boys from my primary school were in a different form. The school day starts with two one hour lessons for a 20 minute break at quarter to 11 and two more before lunchtime at five past one. Lunchtime is split into two half an hour slots to give everyone the chance to have some lunch and take advantage of the huge choice of clubs and activities on offer. In the afternoon there's just one more lesson until the final bell and at five past three is the start of the after school programme. Bridge North and Dad will seem a lot bigger than your last school and this may feel daunting to begin with but there's no need to worry about getting lost. We'll make sure there are plenty of members of staff on hand and older students that are always happy to help. You'll be given a map of the school and we have a one-way system to make corridors easier to get around when it gets busy. Something we all worry about when we start somewhere new is making friends, but remember everyone is in the same boat. To make things easier you'll be put into your tutor group with a friend you already know and you'll also get the opportunity to meet loads of exciting new people. Food is an important part of school life and our caterers are fantastic. They serve breakfast at the Early Bird Breakfast Club before school, plus a range of options at break and of course lunch, all freshly prepared on site. Every day there's a tasty choice of hot meals and deli favourites such as paninis, jagged potatoes, baguettes, cakes and loads more. There's also special days where we get to enjoy delicious foods from all around the world. This year we've had Mexican, Italian, Indian, American and Chinese events. For the first week, you'll go into lunch early to give you the chance to have your thumbprint taken for the cashless payment system and to get to grips with everything. We have three lunch venues, the main dining hall, the 1503 cafeteria and extra seating in the old hall. If you prefer to bring your own packed lunch, that's okay too and there's plenty of space for everyone to find a seat. There really is something for everyone to enjoy after school or at lunchtime. Whether you're into sport or prefer something more creative or challenging, there are plenty of clubs to choose from. And we're really lucky to have our very own leisure centre with a 25 metre indoor pool, fitness suite and other great facilities. We have two sports halls and outside there's an AstroTurf pitch, tennis courts, netball courts and other sports pitches. The clubs are really fun at lunchtime because you get to go and do what things you like because it's almost a club for about everything. Um, so there's lots of clubs in the sports hall and a lot of teachers also run clubs like the Eco Club and the 
um, sewing and everything that like even if you have an interesting hobby you can find someone that does it at this school. Um, the clubs are really good in our school. After school you, we own the leisure centre so we can go swimming or to the gym for free for an hour after school and I've been swimming a few times with my friends and it's really good fun. Visuals Endowed has a busy events calendar and there's always plenty going on. Every year we put on an annual school show and there are music concerts, sports events, award ceremonies, competitions, charity fundraisers, the list is endless. You'll also get the chance to go on some great trips, each part from one's visits such as theatre performances, sporting events, drunk field trips and history trips. We also go further afield. Over the years students have been on some fantastic overseas visits to Spain, Greece, Belgium and France. We're all really proud to be part of Bridge North and Dow and believe it's important to wear the correct uniform to school. As you may already know, a new school skirt has been launched for our Year 7s. It's a knee length tight and plated skirt that features the colours of our houses and looks really smart. There's also a new look Year 7 PE kit, so you'll be turning up to matches against other schools looking like you mean business. And last but not least are our ties, which were only introduced last year. They are a key feature at BES as they show which house the student is in. Red for Veritas, Green for Sientia, Virtus is yellow, and then Victus is blue. Details of the uniform can be found on our website. Every student at Bridge North Mandal belongs to one of the four houses. Last year, our students came up with brand new names. Veritas meaning truth, Sientia which means knowledge, Virtus, which means courage, and Invictus, which means unconquerable. All throughout the year, the houses battle it out at sports, competitions, quizzes, bake sales, and various other events with one goal, to be crowned overall winners. House points are also given to students for attendance, behavior, and attitude to learning. Every point definitely helps. Rewards are an important part of life at Bridgeton Endowed, not only for your house, but for you as an individual student. The school runs a reward system that recognises excellent attendance and positive behaviour, as well as pupils that improve the most or get the highest grade in each subject. At the end of each term, the whole school comes together to celebrate these achievements, and the students get to go on a trip as a reward. This summer, we're going to Art Towers, which everyone is really looking forward to. Having more homework is usually a big concern when you move up to secondary school but you won't get thrown at the deep end and there's plenty of help on offer from your subject teachers and form tutor. We use an online system called Class Charts so you won't need to try to work out what you scribbled at the end of your lesson. It's all there with any extra information you may need. When you log in, you're able to see your homework to-do list and the date each piece of homework has to be done by. It all sounds a bit confusing, but don't worry, you'll be shown exactly what to do. We have a study centre that's open all day, every day. It's a great place to do your homework because it's nice and quiet there are plenty of PCs for you to use and there's always a member of staff in there if you need some help. After school, it's open for homework club until 5, Monday to Thursday, and until 4 on Fridays. So, there's really no need to struggle. Homework might, might feel like quite a lot to start with, but it's actually not that much if you get a good scheme and you can, if you just do it every day after school, the ones that have been set, then you, you don't feel like it's too much. You only get about three or four pieces a day. Bridge North Endowed is a great school and we're sure you'll thoroughly enjoy your time here. But if you ever find things a bit difficult and you need some extra support, there's help available. The Joseph Barrett Centre is home to the pastoral team who are here to help with any issues you may have. And there's your form tutor too, who you'll see at the start of every day and get to know really well. They're always happy to have a chat with you and offer advice. We hope you found our video helpful. And looking forward to coming to Bridge North Endowed. Don't forget, if there's anything you're unsure about, you just need to get in touch. Have a great summer. And we'll see you in September. Bye! Bye.